So now when we play it, I'm going to play this chromatic scale and play the last note an octave higher and hold it. Let's have it hold it even longer. So you see changing these things is very easy and if I want to get rid of that last note I can just right click it and hit delete and it's gone. Run, uh, run the program again that compi recompiles it and it's back to what it was. So you can load any of these examples and look at them and see how that they were they were done and, and what they do. Um, Another one that um, we looked at was uh, buzzers and variables. Now, one of the um, popular programming structures is to have variables or names for um, for the placeholders for um, action. So, in this case, instead of putting in the note with uh, a number, we gave a name to it, and we can variably set what note we're going to play. Here we set the the note um, frequency and how long it's played. So in this example, it's going to loop through twenty five times. And basically, what it did was it started out at one note twenty five, which is the one that we picked, and multiplied that number by 50 and then increased the number by one all the way you know 20 25 times and the code for something like that would look like this and here's another neat feature about mini block this code may be hard for you to see but it also features a a zoom feature and you can zoom in the size of of these blocks as you're programming them to see and this is the code that um, that all these blocks generate Here you can see um, while note is uh, uh, less than 25 it's going to do everything in these quotes and it takes a tone um, with a delay. Buzzer pin is actually um, a constant which has been set in the system. Buzzer pin, I, I had to do some looking, uh, tells us where to plug in the, the uh, speaker to get a sound out of it. And uh, when I looked at that, I found that I had to really dig down into um, mini block to find where that was and I looked under components and the mini block and in the library and in the CPP files and then in target and I found the ones for the Arduino Uno and inside of the core menu there's this file mini block dot H I'm gonna open up that file and inside of this file we can see right here on the top where they defined buzzer pin to be pin 8 Okay, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here that you can look at and, and find out information um, about how things are done in Miniblock. So they give you the source code. So, um, getting rid of that. If you look over at the Arduino Uno, pin 8 is right here. And that's where I plug in the red wire of my buzzer and the other wire goes to ground which is the second pin down and that's where I plug it in okay so it's gonna send a note to buzzer pin on pin 8 um, that's note times 50 uh, and then whatever that value is it'll play that note and um, it'll play it for 200 milliseconds then it'll increment the value of note by one so note 
now increases. So if note was 25, you're adding 1 to it, now note is 26, it goes and plays that. If note is 50, um, it will add 1 to that, and it'll be 51, and it'll play the 51st note, which multiplied, etc., by, by, the, by the number. And it'll just keep doing that until this variable note is uh, greater than 25, at which point it'll stop. Okay, so that's what's going on in there. So one of the other features that they have in Miniblock here now that they didn't have before, if you look in the in the menus up here, you'll see that they have um, what the command name is, and they also have what the icon looks like. Um, one of the things we can turn off and on is this icon bar that you know we can. These are quick links to um, powerful commands. But like if we want to open something, this is the icon that's associated with it. There's also the keyboard shortcuts on the side, like Control O will open a file. Um, this one with the star with the example shows you where to find all those sample files I was just showing you. And then there's, you know, obviously save and, and uh, exit. But here's your cut, paste, and, and delete commands. Now in the components, you can either run uh, software, which means that it compiles and then plays on the uh, Arduino. Or you can just build it where it compiles, but you don't play it until you hit the reset button. Okay, and like I said, this quick bar here on the side, you can turn it off or on. Um, you can also uh, not show the hardware, or you can show the hardware. You can show the messages that um, you receive when you compile. And one of the new features that uh, Miniblock has is a terminal window. You can get to the terminal window by clicking on View and clicking Terminal, or then pressing Alt-T. Um, that opens up your terminal window. You can split that um, so that you have an input and an output side. Uh, or you can run it as single. Um, I'm going to show you an example of a program that uh, uses the terminal window and that's the counter serial um, program and that just simply adds uh, starts at zero and adds one and continues adding waiting 300 uh, milliseconds in between each and it displays the number or the count in the terminal window so I'm going to go ahead and load that program into the Arduino open the display and you can see um, that it'll do that and it'll just conti continue counting on um, you can close that and clear them all and we can change the uh, index if we want to go and count by tens instead of by ones recompile up the counter. Pretty simple fix. And you can um, view the source code that goes along with that. The last thing I'd like to show you is um, how Miniblock automatically updates uh, variable names as you make changes to them. Right now we have uh, count as the name of this variable. If we change it to counter and we click on the other variables uh, that use the previous name, it changed them all from counter uh, from count to counter automatically for you and updated the code. So if we run this, it'll still work the same with the different variable names.
I hope you've uh, enjoyed this quick overview of uh, what's new in the latest Mini Black Alpha version. You can read more about it in my blog, um, which is makermasters.com. I wrote an article on uh, both version uh, 7 and uh, version 8. Um, also, you can um, check out the Mini Block blog, which is uh, miniblock.org. Um, they have uh, up-to-date uh, information on what's going on with the development of MiniBlock. And uh, they've got some pretty cool uh, videos and things there for you to check out. Uh, we hope to continue to provide coverage for uh, new things as they develop. And uh, we'll let you know as soon as the beta is out so everybody can try it. This is an open source project. And I think it'll make uh, programming the Arduino easier and faster for more people. And uh, that's what it's all about. Thank you. My name is Bill Griggs from MakerMasters.com.